After serving eight years in the California legislature representing the 80th district in South San Diego, Assemblymember Lorena Gonzalez says she is stepping down. The announcement comes as she prepares to lead the California Labor Federation, representing more than two million workers statewide. But at the end of the day, um, there's nothing we can do that is as powerful as a union contract. Before being elected to the legislature, Assemblymember Gonzalez had worked as a labor leader and organizer, including serving the San Diego and Imperial Counties Labor Council. If we really want to tackle income inequality, if we really want to have a more equitable society, we need stronger unions. And to be able to leave a movement at this point is such an attractive um, opportunity. She points to raising the minimum wage, paid sick days for all workers, her voter motor legislation, and overtime pay for farm workers among her most noteworthy legislative accomplishments. But she says this new role was not one she wanted to pass up. I think I've been through so much lately that I, I kind of put my faith in God and when an opportunity came up like this that, that I really look at as my calling in life, um, I, I think that it made it a lot easier. Gonzalez has recently undergone surgery and follow-up treatment for breast cancer. In some ways, my health has never been um, better. But I think anytime you face your own mortality, you, you think about your own life and the things, the choices that you're making. And so Last year, after the California Labor Federation said its members backed Gonzalez as their potential leader through a vote, conservative radio host Carl DeMaio announced he was filing an ethics complaint, accusing her of using her position to negotiate this new job, something Gonzalez dismisses. And I actually wasn't in negotiations um, at all until the last week. And so... Uh, and I've taken no official action since then, but uh, it, it was, you know, typical Carl DeMaio. Assemblymember Gonzalez has been willing to take on some of the biggest companies and the toughest fights. News 8 political analyst Laura Fink calls Gonzalez's decision to head one of the state's most powerful labor organizations a natural fit. And whether you agree with her or not, her courage in doing so is something that is rare in American politics today. Governor Newsom will now announce a special election to replace Gonzalez. Already former San Diego City Council President Georgette Gomez and former City Council member David Alvarez have announced they plan to run.